Okay, next lesson is on copyrights, and the first exercise is uh, make a collage. Okay, so this sounds familiar because we just made a collage in the previous lesson, but this one is centered around this concept of copyright. So the instructions are, now that you know how to find and cite images you can use, create a collage containing six public domain images you found. Even though you technically, technically don't have to cite public domain images, put the citation in a P tag under each image, and your citation should be in the following form. So you want to have the uh, source where you got it, the artist's name, title, year, and website, okay? Um, so here's an example, and the website was publicdomainpictures.net. I'm going to use that as well for this exercise. So for those of you who don't know, a public domain picture is basically an image that someone else created and, and they technically own, but what they've done is they went ahead and released it as a public domain licensed image, meaning that you can use it in your personal projects, you can modify it, and you don't need to ask for permission to use that image. So essentially, they're images that are available to anyone to use for free. And this is really important because we want to make sure we're not violating copyrights that belong to a creator who's created an image or any other media that we want to incorporate into our projects. You can search by top images, latest pictures, categories, or another cool feature is just the random generator of free pictures. So I'm just going to just choose some pictures here from the random generator. I'm going to put the uh, dog image in first. This dog's super cute. And um, for the image uh, URL, let's see how, yeah. So for the image URL, we'll just go ahead and copy image address like we did with our last collage. And this will go in the source attributes. I'm just going to go back and put that in the source. Okay, now if you don't remember how to format your P tag, just go back to the exercise instructions and we can format it just like we see there. So the source um, is the artist name and then the title. Okay, so in this case the artist or photographer was Karen, Karen Arnold and the image is French Bulldog Puppy Portrait. Okay, so I'm going to type that in. Karen Arnold French Bulldog Puppy Portrait. Okay, there was no year, so I'm just going to leave that out. Okay, and then technically you don't have to cite it because it's a public domain image, but we're going through this practice because it's important that you do so for other images or media that you use in your, your projects. Think about all of the time that you spent creating your artworks and your original writings. You wouldn't want anyone to use that without your permission. So we want to make sure we're giving the artists and photographers the citation that they deserve for their work. Okay, so copy that and I'll just put that into a parenthesis and I think that should be sufficient for this exercise, okay? Um, if you don't find the year, that's fine. We just do want some sort of citation with at least the artist or the person who created the image, the title, and then uh, the URL. Okay, guys, so we're doing this for six photos and you can insert them into the placeholders you see below. Thank you.